Few things are as comforting as warm, creamy macaroni and cheese. A bowl of the stuff can be an instant mood elevator after a long day, and while there are plenty of frozen options on the market, not all are equal. Here's how they stack up from worst to best. As soon as the Lean Cuisine macaroni and cheese comes out of the microwave, it smells like the classic box of stovetop Velveeta mac and cheese, which was a nostalgic plus. But unfortunately, all of that anticipation will be wiped out after the first bite. The texture is thick and creamy, but the flavor tastes a little bit like the plastic it was cooked in or, for some reason, canned asparagus. It's just weird and gross and pretty off-putting. Cheddar cheese is listed in the ingredients, while asparagus is not, so it's unclear just what the source of that unappealing flavor is, but it's completely weird. It's understandable that you might be looking for a mac and cheese that doesn't completely break your calorie budget for the day. With the Lean Cuisine, it's convenient that the one 10-ounce package is considered a full serving and only sets you back 300 calories. It's also got 14 grams of protein, which is a plus. But ultimately, other brands can provide you with similar dietary numbers without that weird taste. It was going to be disgusting. I did you a favor. While microwaving the banquet mac and cheese, it'll quickly become clear that the cheese sauce is incredibly watery. After a quick stir, well, in the olden days, it used to taste like a still thin, still watery version of boxed stovetop craft mac and cheese. Bad news? It hasn't improved. After looking at the ingredients list, it's no surprise water is the first ingredient listed for the cheese sauce. The ingredient list also includes a handful of other heavily processed ingredients that other brands don't rely on, which, in the end, doesn't really seem to help the cause much. What makes it to the table is edible, but there's a chance it might remind you of airline food. It's also worth considering the fact that it has a whopping 1,160 milligrams of sodium, which is considered about 50% of your daily value of salt. While mac and cheese isn't inherently the healthiest option, that's still a pretty large dose of salt to swallow. Someone's got the cheese fix again. Smart Ones, previously associated with Weight Watchers, is another option for those looking for a lighter comfort food option. This mac and cheese claims to have a blend of three cheeses that they seem to think would add a little bit of variety to the dish. While the cheese flavor is nice, the sauce can be a little too watery and the noodles a little too thick and chewy. With a few little tweaks, this could be a really incredible mac and cheese, especially if you add something to it, but for now, it's really just the best of the diet options. It wasn't that long ago that organic, gluten-free frozen food was hard to come by. Those days are long gone, as Amy's can be found in almost every grocery store and many convenience stores. The selection of Amy's frozen mac and cheeses is large, but let's talk about the classic macaroni and cheese made with organic pasta. At first bite, it's clear that the sauce is thick and creamy and the pasta has a nice texture to it. It's cheesy, but not overly cheesy, which might be due to the use of white cheddar in the sauce. But there was something slightly off about the flavor of the mac, and it's noticeably different from traditional mac and cheese sauce recipes. It's not better or worse, it's just different. So it really boils down to a matter of taste with this one. As far as the ingredient list goes, it's about as clean as it gets with most of the same ingredients you'd use at home to make a pot of mac and cheese. The 9-ounce package has 450 calories, 18 grams of protein, and is a perfectly filling entree for one. No, American cheese is not considered gourmet cheese. But the thing is, it's a delicious addition to macaroni and cheese, providing that same gooey and creamy texture that you love when using it in a grilled cheese sandwich. You don't need the majority of your cheese sauce to be made with American cheese, but you might be surprised how much it can contribute to a batch of homemade cheddar mac. Hormel Macaroni and Cheese is one of the few brands that advertise their use of American cheese in the mix, and it totally works. The mac and cheese is creamy and cheesy, with a bolder flavor than some other varieties. That may be partially due to the higher sodium content in this pasta, but it works on the taste buds and hits all the flavor, texture, and tender pasta notes you're looking for without breaking the mold. It's perfectly comforting and comes in a package large enough to serve three people as a side dish comfortably, and comfort is what it's about. Macaroni and cheese? Hey, you know what I like! <laughs> I grew up on macaroni and cheese. Marie Callender's has been around since 1948, founded as a bakery specializing in pies. In the 70-plus years since then, the brand has been a staple in the frozen dinners market. Famous for the large selection of frozen pot pies they produce, comfort food is clearly the name of the game here. The creamy Vermont white cheddar mac and cheese is one of the most popular mac and cheese products they offer, and for good reason. 
The sharpness of the aged white cheddar is made into a perfectly luscious sauce that thickly coats the long shell style pasta. It's not orange like other Macs, but you won't miss the food coloring in this dish. Marie Callender's macaroni and cheese comes in a 13 ounce package which is large enough for two or three people to share as sides or one larger sized entree for one. The calorie count is higher than some of the previous dishes, and it's also worth noting that this also comes with an almost outrageous 1,650 milligrams of sodium. If you're watching your sodium, this might not be for you. Stouffer's Macaroni and Cheese is one of the most recognizable frozen mac and cheese brands. It's easy to find in nearly every grocery and convenience store and comes in sizes fit for one, a small family, or for a family reunion. So what makes it so popular? It may be the bold orangey coloring, but the cheese sauce itself tastes like it's been packed with cheddar. The sauce is thick enough to coat the pasta with every spoonful, but not so thick that it glues the noodles together. And every Stouffer's Mac and Cheese Pro knows that if you leave it in the microwave for another 30 seconds, you might just achieve the coveted grilled cheese-like crust around the sides of the container. Unfortunately, the noodles can be a little soft. It's less of an issue if you're baking the mac and cheese, but honestly, very few people are going to spend 45 minutes or so waiting on the oven. The 12 ounce package suited for one serving runs you 500 calories and 1,200 milligrams of sodium, but that won't deter some diehard fans. Ultimately, you can rest assured that you're going to get the same reliable cheesy flavor with every box of Stouffer's macaroni and cheese that you buy, which is probably one of the most comforting things about it. It was bold of Blake's to try to make a microwavable mac and cheese finished with a breadcrumb topping to resemble a baked macaroni and cheese. Sometimes taking a risk pays off. It wasn't too dry or thick like breadcrumb toppings can sometimes be straight out of the oven, and it had a perfectly creamy white cheddar cheese sauce. Additionally, there are no strange ingredients in this dish, made almost entirely with organic ingredients. The 8-ounce package of Blake's Farmhouse Mac and Cheese will only cost you 300 calories, which means you might not want to bother with one of the less-than-great so-called diet-friendly choices when you can have something so fulfilling for almost the same nutritional value and all of the comfort that comes with it. While not as well-known as some of the other brands, Devour is a newcomer that's making a splash when it comes to mac and cheese. You're not going to find your mum's macaroni and cheese in their lineup, and instead, Devour offers a handful of mac and cheese options for those looking for something a little different. Buffalo chicken mac and cheese is studded with blue cheese and buffalo chicken pieces, and their chicken cordon bleu mac and cheese is made with a Swiss and provolone cheese sauce that's got both ham and grilled chicken pieces folded into the mix. So much more than a simple mac, Devour aims to present you with an entire meal in one package. For the time being, there are no vegetarian or gluten-free options, as even the sharp cheddar mac and cheese comes with bacon bits sprinkled into it. Nutritionally speaking, most of these meals come with a higher calorie count than other options, but should be seen as a complete meal, not just a side dish. And that's a good thing, you're going to want that next bite. Going into the microwave, the mix might look a little dry, and there aren't any special descriptions on the packaging other than a nice picture and a casual mention of three cheeses sauce in small print that set it apart from the competition. But this mac and cheese from Whole Foods is pleasantly surprising. Not only is it a real cheese sauce, but the seasonings are unlike anything the other brands are doing. It's the sort of thing that you'd be perfectly happy to buy and serve friends, old and new, as a side. While the package states that the three kinds of cheese used are organic cheddar cheese, organic mozzarella, and organic aged hard cheese, it's unclear what kind of aged hard cheese is used exactly. But that's okay. Overall, one 9-ounce package of the 365 brand organic macaroni and cheese packs a comforting gourmet punch that is completely enjoyable, because cheese, after all, just goes perfectly with some things. But no matter what you think of Newberg's blue cheese cooler, there is one thing everyone can agree on. Newberg's uses only the finest ingredients. Bob Evans macaroni and cheese is technically a refrigerated dish, not a frozen one, but it's prepared exactly the same way that all of the others are in the microwave, so it counts. Especially considering that it comes out exceptionally thick and creamy, with perfectly cooked noodles that make sharing difficult. The classic cheddar macaroni and cheese is jam-packed with flavor, and while it might not taste like 100% real cheese, it's got the ultimate cheddar sauce mac and cheese taste that's next to impossible to duplicate at home. Even the most staunch Stouffer's lover may be converted with a taste of Bob Evans. 
As far as calories go, a single serving container of this mac and cheese clocks in at 220 calories. And while the serving size is also a bit smaller than most of the other packages at 6 ounces, you're getting a better tasting mac than most of the other options. Bonus? You're not obligated to share with anyone else unless you really want to. It's no secret that Trader Joe's has developed a devoted cult-like following for their private label frozen and prepared foods, and judging only by their mac and cheese, there's a good reason for that. Stacked in the freezer case, you might find at least three different types of macaroni and cheese, but let's talk about the Joe's Diner mac and cheese, since it presented itself as the most comforting classic option. Made with four kinds of cheese, this dish is positively overflowing with cheese. Granted, it looks a little odd straight out of the microwave with the cheeses all melted and clumped in the middle of the cooked pasta, but a minute or two of stirring brings it all together into an authentically cheesy dish that true cheese lovers won't be able to resist. The genuinely authentic cheesy nature of this dish also lends itself to any additions you'd like to make to it. It would be perfect for folding in some broccoli, scallions, bacon pieces, grilled chicken, or how about turning plain old mac and cheese into lobster mac and cheese? This mac tastes so homemade that you might never make it from scratch again. Believe the hype! Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about the best foods to buy are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.